do. Mr. Senior Love Daddy on We Love FM. We Love W E Love FM. Why W E Love FM. W-E-L-O-V-E 108 FM From the heart of Bad Stuy W-E-L-O-V-E Alright y'all, peace and blessings, God bless y'all I'm Jarvis Kingston And I hope y'all doing alright and staying strong and solid in these times that run I hope that you're safe, protected, and prayed up I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I hope that you had a good week and I pray that you have a better week and I hope you have better days, weeks, months, and years ahead of you despite all the chaos going on in the world, so much going on, all the prophecy being fulfilled, all the judgment um, happening and taking place. A lot of events are taking off day by day. In the midst of all this, I pray that the Most High still gives you your abundance, your life, your happiness, your joy, okay? Let nobody take away your joy. Don't let anybody take away your joy, okay? Now, in today's message, it won't be really much of a message. It's just going to be a news roundup of all the events that's happened these past days. Y'all know how it goes. Every weekend, whether it's a Saturday or a Sunday, to end the week off, I'm always going to do a news roundup to stay alert on everything, for us to be aware of what's going on in this country and in the world as well, you know. So obviously, I like to usually go through my business news, political news, news in America, the news in the world. But I'd like to start off with just, you know, the whole Brett Favre story, the Boston Celtics coach situation, the you know, just real messy. (laughs) All right. And You know, the whole thing about the whole Brett Favre situation, uh, we all are aware that he uh, stole some money or did some fraud or, um, you know, some uh, deceptive things with a lot of millions of dollars through a welfare program in Mississippi. And we all know the state of Mississippi with the history of racism, the history of um, lynchings down there, the slavery, the poverty, you know, all those different things that went on in Mississippi. Um, For Brett Favre to do something like that, that's just very, um, that's just foul, you know what I mean? And that just shows you a reflection of this country, how a lot of these people, they scam and fraud out of the poor. And the book of Proverbs talks about that, talks about, you know, taking from the poor, devouring the poor, how this generation does that. And that's a clear example of it. Of course, you're going to add the racial components in uh, talking about Brett Favre and everything or what have you, but um, overall, it's just... Uh, unfortunate that people in Mississippi can't get assistance or funding because of things like that. But it's not only just Brett Favre that does that. This whole country, this whole earth does it, okay? Like, everybody does fraud. Everybody does scamming. Everybody does messed up things just to take from others, and especially take from the poor. And they withhold the poor from it, and they just take off for themselves. You know, very corrupt, very gr- very greedy, you know, just very evil, you know? And um, the Most High is going to get his wrath and judgment on all this stuff. Trust me. So that's that on the whole Brett Favre situation. Now, this whole Boston Celtics stuff, man, this stuff is bizarre. This stuff is wild. I mean, NBA Twitter just went crazy. I mean, this was like all over social media and all over the TV. Like, they just blew the story up so hard. Like, they really was, like, pushing it hard and distracting people. I mean, it was just so much different sides and layers to the story. You know what I mean? And everybody had different opinions and views about it. Everybody was just, you know, up in arms about it. But, you know, NBA Twitter, you know, social media, man, that place is a cesspool. So NBA Twitter, man, they just kept coming up with memes and jokes and just saying all types of crazy stuff, man. They pulling up all types of women photos through who works in the organization and staff, man. That was just real messy and crazy. What's crazy and messy about it is how that information leaked, how the reporters got a hold of it, how fast the tweets went about it. Um, You know, just the way everybody was trolling and putting up those pictures of all those different women and speculating. That was just all wild from top down, man. And, that, you know, man, it's, it's just wild. Everybody has their view about it, you know, from... Uh, Stephen A. Smith to all these different retired NBA players and 
um, you know, just everybody having a voice and opinion about it. But you notice not too much NBA players spoke on this. You notice that when the Robert Savard situation broke out, broke down, not too much ball players spoke up on it that much. And now with this Boston Celtics coach situation, not too much players speaking about it neither. <laughs> you know, and that's really their business. But now their business is everybody's business now. It's everybody's knowledge about it, man. It's just crazy. You know, things like that should never be in the public. It should never be put out there. But the fact that it's out there now, this is what happens. It's fair game. Everybody gets to make memes. Everybody just goes wild with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a firestorm. You know, with social media, people get a hold of a news story. They just run off with it and go crazy, you know. But um, uncomfortable things like that where, you know, you have like work romance or relationships or, you know, people, you know, infidelity, people cheating on each other, people having sex in the workplace. That's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You could work at McDonald's and see something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like something between an employee and a manager or employee and a supervisor. That, that, that stuff goes on in every work environment you could think of, you know. But with this Boston Celtics situation, it's just really crazy because, like, there's a lot of racial components in it as well. It's just a lot of different conspiracies about it, too, you know. <laughs> like, some people are just having so much different views about it. And it's just crazy how they just threw this man just, like, totally, totally, like, under the bus and totally just... Like suspending him the whole year. I mean, just really intense, crazy stuff. I don't have all the details of info. And I, I honestly don't want all the, the details of info because I, I already feel like this is messy as it is. Once more, more, more deeper details come out and more and more things go along, it's going to get worse and ugly. You know, things like this don't end well for anybody. It just doesn't end good at all. Um, it's a really bad look for the league. It honestly is when a story like this pops out, because that's just crazy how it's just crazy how these NBA news stories, how you have the Robert Savar uh, situation happen and then boom, right after Robert Savar, this pops up right after it. So it's just kind of crazy how two stories go back to back like that and they make headlines the way they do. Um, I just think overall, there's much more crazy things going on in the world than just <laughs> this silly stuff like this. But, you know, nobody ever wants to be focused on that. Everybody's focused on NBA. Everybody's focused on celebrities. Everybody's focused on gossip. Everybody's focused on, you know, people's personal lives and messy situations. Nobody's focused on real important things that matter that can actually impact us, you know. But all in all, this has just been a, a random week for news. I mean, the week, the news day after day, week after week gets more weird, random, and strange. But this week has been really just really, really strange. OK, so just wanted to get those stories out the way with the whole Brett Favre situation, the Robert Savard situation. He's going to sell the team most likely. Um, and then you have the Boston Celtics head coach situation going on. So it's just always some mess of drama, man, you know, so they got that out the way. So. What I'm going to do is just run through this news app and just run through these tabloids and just skim through it as I usually do. And then we'll just close out with giving glory to the most high for Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We'll just close out with a prayer and just go from there. All right. So here we go. China vows to combat Taiwan separate separatist activities. Rudy Galani ordered to pay his third ex-wife $225,000 by a Manhattan judge. Let's see what else new stories is going on. Researchers dump tons of coffee waste into a forest. This is what it looks like now. So let's see. Hmm. This is where all the rich people are going to hide during the apocalypse. A nuclear powered sky hotel revealed. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, let's see. Dementia, non-alcoholic drink enjoyed by millions could be a main culprit of memory loss. Hmm, let's see. Things get heated between Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews over the Boston Celtics coach suspension. A lucky gold, a Goodwill employee stumbles into $42,000 in cash hidden in donated sweaters. A Chinese baby was born with four arms and four legs. Had to get a surgery 
They had to get surgery to remove the headless paras parasitic fetus attached to the chest. Wow. McDonald's will face a $10 billion lawsuit arguing it does not advertise enough black-owned media. Developers make history by selling out black-owned micro-home communities in less than two months. Walmart hit with massive backlash after leaked memo revealed why customers will soon be paying more for products. A Pennsylvania restaurant sues customers sue a customer who left a three thousand dollar tip for the wait for the waitress. And you also still have the vaccine going on. I mean, with COVID and everything, with the fall season and autumn season, the weather's going to be more cool and cold, so more people are going to get sick as seasons change and the weather changes as well. Now, let's see. People in certain states and 17 different states could be looking to receive a inflation relief check pretty soon. Food prices are soaring, and that's how people change to eat the way to eat their foods. Let's see. Alabama police remove massive gray rat snake from a family's toilet. DeSantis declares state of emergency as storm expected to hit Florida. Southern California gas prices are skyrocketing again. There's a video showing a train hitting a Colorado police car with a person handcuffed inside. Let's see. Staffing shortages as violence plagues happen in Oklahoma prisons. Abortion ban in Arizona removes basic rights of women. Police shooting in Aurora shuts down Alameda at Galani at Galena. Mm -hmm. The homeless rate the homeless rate is increasing in Los Angeles and other parts of America, basically all over the world. Many US veterans land behind bars after a unique new law that may change that. Former Raiders tight end Richard Gordon has been arrested for threatening to kill his girlfriend. Biden approves Western Alaska disaster request as FEMA arrives to assess the storm damage. U.S. schools will now carry overdose medication. Alex Jones takes the stand in a Connecticut de defamation trial. Car thefts are on the rise. Puerto Rico struggles to reach areas cut off by Hurricane Fiona. Cameroonian man wins a asylum case, finds safe haven in Wisconsin. FDA concedes delays in response to baby formula, formula shortage. <clears throat> Experts are expecting high flu numbers this year. El Paso hit by 1,500 illegal immigrants a day while small fractions sent to liberal cities strains resources. Fiona, Hurricane Fiona sweeps away houses, knocks out power in eastern can Canada. Ukraine situation report. Multiple Russian aircraft shot down in a day. Let's see. Liz Truss, Liz Truss plans to loosen immigration rules to boost UK economy. Zelensky says he is shocked by Israel's failure to give Ukraine weapons. Protests spread in Iran as President Raisi vows to crack down. Zelensky offers guarantees for Russian soldiers who Russian soldiers who surrender. How Italy could elect its first far right prime minister in decades. Chinese countermeasure barge covered in radar reflectors emerges. What could happen if Putin used nuclear weapons in Ukraine? It's just the tabloids I'm reading, okay? It's just the news headlines. North Korea fires suspected ballistic missile off its eastern coast. Dmitry Bogokov, Putin fires deputy def defense chief amid supply failures. Why women in Iran are risking everything by burning their hijabs, their hijabs. Russian men fleeing country to avoid military service under Putin's order. Let's see. Property owner pleased with eviction order. Complaints about Russia's chaotic mobilization grows. How Iran aims to crush protesters and how the world should respond. 
At least 89 migrants are dead after a boat sinks off Syria's coast. Kremlin wants to introduce martial law and ban men from leaving the country. U.S. aircraft carrier arrives at South Korea to send message to North Korea. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. China uses civilian ships to enhance Navy ca- capability. Iran launches artillery against militants in northern Iraq. Thousands turn out for cost of living march in Dublin, Ireland. China says that the U.S. is sending very wrong, dangerous signals on Taiwan. China puts few fusion aircraft carrier systems to milestone, milestone test. German leader seeks energy deals alliances on Gulf Trip. Finland moves to block more Russians on eastern border. U.S. housing recession could send home prices tumbling 20%. Americans have lost an average of $4,000 in salary. Is crypto a big scam? Toyota Motor to close its factory in Russia. Oil falls below $80 en route to biggest run of weekly losses this year. Elon, Mu- Elon Musk on poverty. Education is the path out of poverty. Coin bust, coin, Coinbase sued for patent infringement over crypto transfer technology. Experimental four-day work week proving successful, proving to be successful. Pound sinks as investors question huge tax cuts. Dow plunges to its lowest level since 2020 to end another dismal week. The Federal Reserve attacks inflation with another big hike. Expects more. More Americans filed unemployment claims last week. Electric cars being charged at night, making America's power grids unstable. The U.S. wants to become a hydrogen production powerhouse. Chinese researchers simulate hypersonic bombing and wind tunnel. U.S. lets firms expand internet services in Iran amid blackout. Data from Gaia, from Gaia, Space Telescope reveals galaxy's original nucleus. SpaceX has a major problem with its Starlink internet connections. NASA delays moon rocket launch due to potential hurricane. EPA launches new office dedicated to environmental justice. NASA aiming James Webb at asteroid as DART prepares to smash it. Bus shelter roofs turned into gardens for bees and butterflies. A new island just appeared in the Pacific Ocean. The race to stop a plastics plant scores a crucial win. Big oil pledged to fight climate change, but do their actions line up? New projects scanning old data for signs of alien civilizations. Ancient Maya cities were dangerously contaminated with mercury. SpaceX launches another 52 Starlink satellites that lands rocket at a sea. Hmm, let's see. The climate crisis is literally changing the color of our planet. Take a peek at the world's largest geothermal lagoon to be built in Canada. A beer shortage is brewing. A volcano is partly to blame. In America, clean water is becoming a luxury. Massive stars may commit grand theft planet. FCC denies SpaceX $900 million in Starlink funding. All right, y'all. So that is the news cycle for this week. Dealing with world news, political news, news in the States, the United States, local news. News in the sports world, business, technology, and science, and COVID as well. And lifestyles news as well. So that's the news cycle, y'all. And um, I pray that you don't be too heavily minded, you know, earthly good. I pray that you don't be too wise or too righteous so you don't ruin yourself, okay? It's important to be aware of what's going on in the world and know what's going on day by day and staying alert and watchful of the end times, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're just going to close out and give all glory to Most High for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins as we close out, go from there. So here we go. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty, the alpha and omega. Amen. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed only potent, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahaya, Yeshaya, Baha, Mahamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven. Barakatha, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, Lord of all, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the build is rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, the life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the authority and your power in the name of Jesus Christ, we touch and agree. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We serve an awesome creator and we serve an awesome son who died for our sins. Hallelujah. So there you have it, people. That's the news roundup for this past week. More things in store for all of us. And that's that, man. I hope y'all had a good week, and I pray that you had a, a you enjoy your weekend and you relax and, and wind down a bit, have some fun, lighten up, okay? So that wraps it up, y'all. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life for the Most High. I pray that you repent and have new beginnings. I hope that you change your ways and that you change your habits, your hobbies, your lifestyle, your patterns. I pray that you have new friends or new people to hang out with. I pray that you find new things to do, new interest, and I pray that the Most High puts good people around you from now on. I pray that you could fellowship and find somewhere where you could pray and go to church or fellowship with others as well, okay? I hope you could read the Bible more, study, and just keep on praying, all right? Keep pushing through these times that we're in and stay strong and stand firm and be more wise, all right? I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.
You're listening to Mr. Senior Love Daddy on We Love FM. We Love W E Love FM One O A W E Love FM W E L O V E One O Eight FM From the heart of Bad Style. W-E-L-O-V-E